Hey there, Tian here of TianConnaughton.com and the Real Talk with Tian podcast. I wanted to jump on today because there is a quote that I shared on my Instagram recently that I really want to uh, dig a little deeper into and have a conversation around. Feel free to drop, um, drop me a note on Instagram, email me, let's have a conversation around it. So I'm gonna read the quote here. And the quote is from Julia Cameron of The Artist's Way. And the quote says, as artists, we cannot afford to think about who is getting ahead of us and how they don't deserve it. The desire to be better than can choke off the simple desire to be. As artists, we cannot afford this thinking. It leads us away from our own voices and choices and into a defensive game that centers outside of ourselves and our sphere of influence. Now, what does that mean? For me, I read that and the first thing I'm thinking is, wow, (laughs) right? Because as a designer, a technical editor, a creative, it is so easy for us to think that those who have the thing, those ahead of ahead of us are more deserving, right? And then sometimes it's on the flip side where we think, oh, that person who's ahead of us, they just started, they are not as good, they don't deserve it, why are they ahead of us? So we have these dual thoughts in our heads where we're thinking, oh, I should be where they are and that person is there because of, something that I haven't been able to crack the code on. But when we think this way, like the quote says, that the desire to be better than can choke off the simple desire to be. Why are we focused in so much on what they're doing and who they are and how they're achieving? When if we just center ourselves and focus on who we are, what our desires are, we can explore and we can explode our own creativity so much faster, so much more intensely than looking at the other person's homework and seeing what they're doing, right? So it's really about what are we doing for ourselves? And she continued to say, as artists, we cannot afford this thinking right? It leads us away from our own voice and choices. And that is so true. Because once we start following other people, once we start thinking, oh, well, the way that they're doing the thing is the right way to do it. I'm going to just do what they're doing. Then we're shutting off our own voices. We're shutting off our own thinking. And now we're being led by what they're doing instead of our own desires, our own wants, what makes us happy. All right, so let's continue. And she says, we cannot afford this thinking. And so often we think that we have to be like that other person. We have to be like so-and-so in order to achieve our goals. But then we follow them and we are always a step behind them, right? Because if we're following another person, we're in their shadow. We are doing what they're doing because it works for them. And then we wonder why it doesn't work for us. And that thinking is what keeps us stuck. It's what keeps us from growing, our, from growing our own selves, our own desires, our own businesses. Because at some point, we're, we're going to need to really step up and be the leader. We need to step up and say, hey, this is what I'm about. These are my values. These are what I'm about. This is what I desire. This is what I want to put out into the world and pursue that instead of always just following someone else's lead. And I think that in society as a whole, that is what we're taught to do, right? We're taught to go to school. We're taught to follow these strict curriculum to get into these fields and to do these certain jobs. But as entrepreneurs, as creatives, there are no blueprints. Right? There are no step-by-step guides to get us to where we want to go. We have to make those own, we have to make those decisions for ourselves. 
We have to be able to say, hey, this is what I want. This is who I am as a creative. This is who I am as a designer, a technical editor, or whatever the, the creative thing is that you want to do. And she finished that quote where it says, it leads us away from our own voices and choices and into a defensive game that centers outside of ourselves and our sphere of influence. So what does that mean? What is our sphere of, of influence? Chances are you don't know because you've always been following somebody else instead of really sitting down and just kind of taking in who you are, what do you want? It is so hard for us to say, I desire X, Y, and Z. Because if you are a, from a marginalized group, if you are a woman, you are not taught. You are not, nobody wants to hear what you want. <laughs> just follow along and just do what you, what we say to do and that and you'll be fine. But that's not really how being a creative, that's not how you grow. That's not how you become this great influential person. And I'm not talking about influential in the sense of, um, you know, being an influencer on Instagram or social media. But once you become who you are meant to be, others will see that. Others will be like, oh, wow, what is she on? <laughs> I want that too. And then you can influence them. You can be that guide for them. You can show them what is possible. So when we're talking about being creative, and as a designer, a technical editor, a fiber artist, any type of artist, right? What is standing in your way? What are you wanting to be? What is your vision for the future? And how can we get there? So, like I said, I love this quote because it touches on so many points that as creatives, that we are just constantly self-imposing these limits on ourselves when in reality, if we could just take a step back and just dig deep into ourselves and what we want and stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and just kind of figure out, I want to be, right? I desire to be my vision for the future, right? Think about what do I want? And I would love to hear from you. Drop me a line, email me, find me on Instagram. My handle on Instagram is at knit designs by Tian. Drop me a line, send me a DM. Let me know what do you want, right? Don't worry about how you're going to get there or any of those other big scary questions that come up after that, but figure out what do you want, right? Get clarity, get clarity on that. Write it down, put it on a post-it, paste it on your computer, show it everywhere. Look at it every day. What do you want? And I would love to hear what you what you want. And I cannot wait to see all of you do. Bye for now.